Hi there, welcome to C programming tutorial. Um, in our previous tutorial we learned how to use if else statement and we ended up in writing a program like this. What it does is basically it checks for the number uh, it, it asks the it, a, it asks the user to enter a number and then it basically checks to see if it is positive then prints this message uh, else it basically checks to see if it is zero then it prints this message it checks then else it checks to see if if the number is uh, is negative then it prints this this message here um we could basically uh, what could what we could there is another c construct which will basically m make this statement this whole program look much simpler than the way it is looking right now and that is basically if else if construct it basically it's kind of the same construct you know it says it's the same the basic thing if else but you know it could be it's basically uh, combined with if else if and it basically is used when you have like one condition else you know other condition else other con condition and all these conditions are like exclusive conditions then you can basically use it just like the way we have them here if number is is greater than zero it cannot be equal to zero it cannot be less than zero so these conditions are exclusive conditions so the way it basically looks like is if condition then followed by a statement and then we say else and then if another condition followed by a statement and then you say else if another condition followed by a statement and and so on and so forth until at the end you could have else followed by a statement so you could have lots of else if else if else if else if and then else so now notice one more thing that um, that here if if you notice now is basically um, I'm writing a statement but actually we've seen that a statement if it is single statement you just write it like this if it is more than one statement that you want to consider uh, that you want to group together to be executed if this condition is true then you basically what you have to do is you have to put them all in brackets so it, this is like now it's gonna be implied inside it so I'm not gonna be putting the braces all the time so it's gonna be part of this um, uh, this syntax that I'm trying to explain here so let's see if we can do something similar here too. Let me let me just copy paste it here. So so let's let's look at look at the code here. So this is where this is what the syntax of if statement if else if statement looks like. Okay? So let's see if we can bring it the same way. If number is greater than 0 you know if condition so if number is greater than zero followed by the statement print print f your number is positive then we say else and then instead of putting if as part of the body of this else by the way this is called the body of else the everything that's between between these braces which are basically part of this else statement we basically bring this if here else if number is equal to zero so this if statement we bring it right here you can write it right right here because it's uh, we have a syntax like this if else if else if else if so we basically remove these lines and we make this indentation better so that it aligns with this statement here you know and then what do we do next we do another else if okay another else if in this else if we basically write number is less than zero if number is negative and we bring this thing up here and this is our final code look at it how simple it is now look at this code here from here to here and look at this code here it looks much simpler now if you look about look at it very carefully you don't even we don't even need an if here why because you know if number is greater than if not if if the number is not greater than zero, if the number is not equal to zero, the number has to be less than zero. 
we don't ha even have to check this thing so because of this if else if because we are going to come here only if this condition is false if this condition is false then we are going to come here so if these two conditions are false the third condition has to be true because all these three conditions are mutually exclusive and exhaustive which means that you know they are all if one condition is true the other are false and one of them is true all the time a number can be either zero or negative or positive anyway um, so so you see we use this construct here we use if statement followed by else if and followed by else so remember if this condition is false the computer comes directly here because it skips this statement it comes here and then it checks another condition if this condition is false then it skips this statement and then if this condition is true for example then it executes this statement and it just skips everything out it just moves on so similarly here if this condition is false it will skip this but if this condition is true it will execute this thing and then won't even look at any further else statements and it will just come outside this if else if construct and start executing the statements here if there was any statements like x equal to 3 here it will make the value of x equal to 3 so let's delete all the rest of these lines here and see if our this little tiny mini program which is so easy to read also if number is greater than 0 if the number is positive print of this else if number is equal to 0 print this else print this so smaller better simpler program that's that's the that's good programming that's what we call good programming so more you know about different constructs better program you can write better looking program and better executing program so let's see if we can execute okay let's see it's asking for a number so we enter a number say I don't know three it says your number is positive we run this program again it's asking for the for the number again one more time we enter zero okay and then we press enter and it says your number is zero so see what wh what's going on here the value of number becomes zero when we enter zero here then it comes here if number is greater than zero no so it skips this statement and comes here else if number is equal to zero yes because we entered zero so then it print f it executes this statement number is zero and doesn't even care about the rest of the statements and it just jumps here and the program ends so thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, I would uh, re request you to basically subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified for any new videos or tutorials that I make and also please rate this tutorial as five stars if you really like this tutorial thank you so much